Of course, this is the first Remembrance Day in a long time that Canada hasn't been at war. Canada's combat mission in Afghanistan ended this summer. And with the loss of our last surviving World War I veteran last year and the number of World War II veterans dwindling, the image of this day is changing. At nearly a decade, Afghanistan is Canada's longest combat mission. While the combat part is officially over, nearly 1,300 Canadians are still there as the focus shifts to training. But for the more than 30,000 soldiers who returned home, they're now facing the new reality of being Canada's newest veterans. A soldier's homecoming is usually thought of as uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, a joyous conclusion to a dangerous tour. But that isn't always how it goes. Ryan Flavel joined the Canadian forces in 2001. 2008, he volunteered to go to Afghanistan. He returned home after a seven-month tour of duty, only to discover coming home can be a battle in itself. He wrote a book about his experience called The Patrol. Combat is like nothing else in the entire world. The adrenaline rush is cool, and, and you feel like a big man when you walk around afterwards. Um, but, you know, there's also the fear. Take that first crew across! Get across! You don't know what's going to happen when you step outside the water, ever. ever. And that was, that was cool and exciting and an adventure for a long time on my tour until um, I went through experiences that, that it stopped being an adventure and it started being a dangerous game to play. Bravo with me! Let's go! We're gonna find a way over! Let's go, Bravo! There, there was a threat everywhere, right? Like, um, it was, um, you never knew at, w at what moment you were gonna blow up. So many soldiers talk about this, and when you come home, you are labeled a hero. Yeah. Did you feel like a hero? Not even a little bit, no. Um, to be treated like that, mm -hmm. it, it made me go, no, that's, that's not who I was. That's not what I did. Um, and it, and it, made me, it made me angry. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a fair anger. And, and a lot of the anger that I experienced when I got home, I, I was fully aware it was irrational. Um, but it, it just, I just didn't want to be treated that way. I didn't want to be, to be labeled um, a hero, like, like, like I'd done something special, you know? I, I'd just done what I'd been asked to do, you know? It, it reminded me of, of, the, of the parts of my tour that, that I wasn't proud about. Changing mags! Airburst! I didn't have the worst go of, of, of the people that I know. Uh, I saw enough, and I, I saw enough things that, that were disturbing, um, and, and, I, and, I, and I pulled back from it. And my conception of what a good soldier should be is someone who doesn't pull back from that. I had this, this anger, this, 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 this negativity in me that, that just wasn't there before my tour, and I didn't know why, right? Obviously, it brings out something in, in you that you were very uncomfortable with. It, it, it reminded me of the times that I didn't want to go out, the times that I, the times where it was like, hey, you want to go out, Flavelle? Uh, not really. I, I, I think I'm just going to chill out here and, you know, go on radio shift. I, I, I spoke with Senator Romeo Dallaire, and one, one of the things he was saying is Canadians really have to brace for the fact that we've got a lot of veterans now. Yeah. He used to always think of veterans as being, you know, maybe Korea, but really the Second World War. Yeah. And we've got to figure out how we help them and how we interact with them yeah. and how we help them reintegrate. Yeah. And, and one of the things we always do is we hold ceremonies for you. Yeah. And we wear poppies for you. Yeah. And we call you heroes. And what I find interesting is that maybe that's not necessarily helping. No, that is. Um, and when I first got off that plane, I felt I just wanted to go to a dark room and be alone for a couple of days, you know. And, and I, I was just not ready to be thrust into that role, you know. Um, Afghanistan was, um, there was, there was nothing to tell you what was safe and what wasn't. There was nothing to, 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 to point you along the right road. Um, and, and then to interact with, with regular society again, it's, it's just, it's very striking. Um, and, and probably the, the, the most striking element, the most, the most difficult to, to deal with element, um, was uh, just, just the, the mundane things that people get upset about. The, 
the, the really the things that just don't matter not making a, a yellow light for example or, or you know whatever road rage like it just it just doesn't matter man chill out and 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 to interact with that that made me really angry for for quite some time those those small little details that, that just shouldn't have bothered me but it just you know anyway so that that it was it was difficult um, it was difficult to, to keep grip uh, to keep a grip on my emotions. Hey, first of all, unbunch yourselves. Spread down. Let's go. All of you there, bunch up. Move down right now. Hey, guys. Hey, friends, stay down. I don't think I'm a hero. I don't think that any of us were. I think that, that we were put into situations where heroism was sometimes called for, and some people rose to those situations. Um, I don't know if I was one of them. Um, maybe, maybe not. I, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't think that heroism is really a quality anymore. That's not really, I don't really think that that, that exists. I, I think that it's just people rising to the challenges, to the shitty situations that they're, that they're put into, right? Like nobody asks to be in those situations. Um, and you don't know how you'll respond until you're in them. Mm -hmm. um, and some people do better than others. Some brutal honesty coming out there tonight. And as the men and women who served in Afghanistan readjust to life here at home, other veterans from missions long since over are still struggling with wounds from their time on the front lines. What is it?